Now couples happen to come to the clinic in two ways. First is that after marriage they have not conceived at all, means the, the women. Well that is the primary infertility. And the second type is where they are having one child but for the second child they are unable to conceive. So that is a secondary infertility. So infertility you can say in a simple words is where the sperms are produced but the uh, male is unable to deliver the sperms into the female tract at the time of intercourse. Now we will see as regards the problems with the delivery of the sperm. So if there is an obstruction to the entire sperm tract right from the testes to the tip of the penis which can be caused because of malignancies or infections or even injuries that can give rise to infertility and of course the two most important problems which are actually the problems in a sexual act and that is erectile dysfunction syndrome where there is a failure of the erection of the penis and premature ejaculation or retrograde ejaculation. In premature ejaculation basically the semen comes out before having the intercourse with the women and in retrograde ejaculation the orgasm is there but the semen is thrown up in the tract that is towards the urinary bladder and it doesn't come out of the penis. And these are very common in male infertility. Now the worst part of the story is that this male infertility issues because of the things which we have said badly hits their self-esteem and the image. People definitely can feel awful but see that it is not a terrible or a catastrophic problem and all Almost all the infertility problems of the male and as well as female can be rectified, can be treated. What kind of a treatment or therapy we give depends on what kind of the problem is, as is the cause and so is the therapy. If there are hormonal problems, then the hormonal supplementations are given and hormonal excess is there, then also there are the medicines. And if the problem is obstructive and surgical or structural, then the surgeries are required where the surgeries of the epididymis, vas deferens, of the tubules, of the seminal vesicles, of the prostate and the penile urethra are required. So finally, my dear friends, remember that need not feel ashamed. You are not abnormal just because you are having male infertility. Life is much bigger than that. See to it that you have a general fitness because general fitness overall increases your sexual fitness. Have a very much nutrition and balanced diet. See to it that you do not lose intimacy between you two partners, that is very important. And remember that sex and life okay, is not just an act of creation or procreation, but it is also an act of recreation. A nice bed life would help to improve the marital life and a nice marital life would help to improve the bed life and both would help in contributing to increase your fertility.